What's up YouTube, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to downgrade from 6.0.1 or 6.0 down to 5.1.1 without having your SHSH blob saved on your computer. Now this is only going to work for 4th generation iPods, the iPhone 4, and iPhone 3GS. You also have to be previously jailbroken on 5.1.1. If you weren't, then this tutorial probably isn't going to help you. Usually the reason that people do this is to get an untethered jailbreak, which just means that you don't have to reboot your phone with Red Snow every time your phone dies or you need to reboot like you do with iOS 6 if you're jailbroken. The first step in this process is actually jailbreaking 6.0.1 or 6.0. So if you haven't done that, then click the annotation right here and follow this easy step-by-step -step tutorial to get through it. Now once you're jailbroken, you're ready to start. The first thing that you need is Red Snow version 9.15 Beta 3, and the second is the 5.1.1 IPSW that you're downgrading to. There are links to both of these in the description below. So the first thing that you want to do is make sure that your phone is plugged in. Now all you have to do is open up Red Snow. When you open up Red Snow there's going to be two buttons, Jailbreak and Extras, and down at the bottom it's going to say that my phone is connected and the build. So just go ahead and click on Extras, and then down at the bottom click Even More, and up at the top click Restore. You're going to select your 5.1.1 IPSW here, and you're just going to click Open. It's going to ask you if you want to prevent baseband update, click yes, and then it's going to tell you that you need to go into Pwn DFU mode, which is actually pretty easy. I'll show you right here. Go ahead and click OK, and then put your phone into DFU mode by holding the power button and the home button for 10 seconds, and after that 10 seconds, let go of the power button and continue holding the home button. As you're holding the home button, the phone's going into DFU mode, and when it actually kicks into DFU mode, the software on the computer, Red Snow, will automatically start. So go ahead and click Remote, and this is I'm, I've sped this up so it goes a little quicker than it usually does. But basically, if you had your SHSH blob saved on your computer, you would click Local. But since we don't, Cydia automatically saved it, so we're going to click Remote, and it's going to retrieve it for us automatically. Now you see here, I actually got a an error here. It says mismatched AP ticket. This is what your phone's going to look like if you get this error. But don't worry, all you have to do is put your phone back into DFU mode from that screen. So put it back into DFU mode and you're going to start over by selecting your IPSW which I'll do right here. So I just click on the IPSW and I'm going to point it to the 5.1.1 software click open again click yes and then it should automatically start because your phone's already in DFU mode usually we got that put uh, prompt to put it into pwned DFU mode but since it's already in DFU mode then it automatically will start this is what your phone's gonna look like while it's going through the process again this is sped up Now once this starts up and I set up my phone, you actually don't have Cydia on the phone. You will have to jailbreak 5.1.1 in order to get Cydia on there again. So here I am, setting up my phone. And there it is. As you can see, there is no Cydia. You will have to re-jailbreak like I was saying earlier. And if you need help with that, to jailbreak 5.1.1, then just click this annotation right here. And as I'm showing you, this is 5.1.1. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If it helped you out, please hit that like button and favorite this video. If you have any questions or it's not working for you, just leave a comment and I'll try to help you out. If you'd like to see more tutorials, reviews, and tweaks, hit that subscribe button below. Until next time, guys. Peace.